This obviously has a tremendous impact on all of our teams, but specifically the teams that compete down here. For them to be, um, for them to practice prior to when their season starts indoor and not have the climate be an issue is really makes a difference. If you were to talk to you know, baseball, lacrosse, and softball as they enter their season, being able to practice in the bubble is really a game changer for them. It's really a game changer. It, it really is in a sense that it will give us a platform that we've never had to train our kids, to do football through the winter months. I think it'll help all the sports up at Baker. And at the same time, it'll help all the sports down at Dodge because I think we've eliminated a lot of congestion down there and gave them much better access to those facilities. So on a lot of different fronts, it's a win-win. It's a fantastic opportunity for us. It gives us uh, a venue that we know we can count on in all weather conditions. It's allowed us to really focus on our individual player plan and our team plan. Uh, and it's something that's allowed us to look at our periodization on a 12-month scale now. So it's been, it's had a compound effect on things. And obviously, when, uh, when you're in a world-class facility, uh, it, it makes the environment and the culture that much more enjoyable. The guys are all excited, you know, right from the get-go about it. I mean, it's, uh, they, they realize, you know, with the, with the Campbell Center and, and the locker room and our field being up here, everything being up here, now with the bubble, you know, every, everything is, is, is up here. There's no question, you know, what, what we're doing, you know, on a January day or a February day uh, when, the, when the weather's poor. Um, so, you know, they've, they've, you know, the energy level has obviously been taken up a notch. And we have tremendous support from our trustees and the university administration. President Bollinger was, uh, you know, behind this program and, and really led the charge. If you look at the individuals that from a fundraising standpoint that led the charge, Bill Campbell and his family were great supporters, Rocco Camiso and his tremendous support there. And then also Robert Kraft uh, was a tremendous supporter. And we had so many people that uh, said, I wanna be part of this. We still have a little bit work to do on the development side. We're almost to the finish line, but uh, we had a lot of tremendous support from the Columbia alumni that recognized the importance of this facility and the impact it can have on our department.